What's up guys, this is your friend dog on Nicholas from Whitehair Gaming. Good to see you guys again. Um, sorry for not uploading a video in the last week. Um, we've been a bit busy, exams and stuff like that. But I'm back. I've got a lot of videos. I played a lot of games yesterday. As you can see, I got a nice 64 and 3 for you guys today. On Combine, using the new rebuffed Weevil. The Weevil now is a beast. They increased the finally after like a lot of uh, a lot of discussions and a lot of hashtags on Twitter and stuff. The Weevil has finally been buffed. 33% extra range. And that makes the gun literally, in my opinion, the best SMG. Of course, in a close, really close quarters, you know, close quarters combat, you probably say the, the VMP will outplay it. And at long range, you probably rather prefer to have the Razorback since that long range, the the range, or well, the range of this gun is not a long, as soon as you get into like 10, 15 meters, now I say 20 meters, the gun needs about 5 shots to kill, if you hit all your bullets as well. But, anything in close to medium range, this gun is the one to take. My recommendation of course is quick draw, and quick draw grip and normal grip and the long barrel, extend that range a bit more, if you know what I mean. But essentially this gun is now beast. Um, of course, I, I, this being as this this pack this uh, patch has been called for this buff has been called for a long time and I feel now finally this they've really found a good balance of the game. Well, the balance of the game was always very good, but now I feel the balance is very perfect or nearly perfect. But if you ask me, okay, the Vesper was overbuffed and now it's essentially a, sh a shitty gun and nobody use it anymore um, because the recoil is massive. But overall, this gun now is very very useful. So the other gun also that was patched um, lately and has got, a, got literally the recoil of the gun has been eliminated was the a, the ICR. The ICR now compares perfectly to the ACR from MW2 or MW3. Now this gun has no recoil. It's still a low profile damage gun, but when you hit all your bullets, it's still a four shot kill. But when you hit all your bullets, it can kill people quickly. When you use high caliber or something, you know, it makes it even better, or rapid fire. But the good news is, I have a video for you guys using the ICR as well. Before this game, two games before this, I had a 48 and 2 using the ICR, and I will upload that as well, of course, for you guys. Um, just so you know a bit more about this gameplay, I do get the wrapped and the raid, I think, three times in this game. Um, I also get a lot of C4 kills, which is very useful, I have to admit it. Put it on the flag, change the spawns, get a lot of kills. Um, and I. Um, get a 26 gun streak and the game finishes, which kind of, you know, made me a bit angry, I have to be honest. Um, I've had a nuke already, but I want to get another one. I want to show one for you guys and commentate it for you guys, but um, sooner or later I'll get one. I'm pretty convinced. I'm a good enough player, as you can see. Yeah, at least I hope so, you know what I mean. Um, but I was playing this game with other friends. We had a four of us. Um, I don't see Lan is finally back from a holiday from Mexico, and uh, we, we got off the gaming end, of course, we started getting on. And literally triple capped or double capped the whole game on combine even, which is great news. Um, other than that, I want to talk to you about the gun balance again. And something that has been coming up lately and has been bit, quite an issue with it, and that is the new guns in the game. As you probably know, the Marshal 16 is new, the Ice Garand is new, and this real ass crossbow is new. As soon, as same as a few more ni uh, knives, knife variants like the Spear Song or something like that. But essentially, the question is are these things OP? Are these, do they break the balance of the game? And is it now is is Black Ops 3 now a pay-to-win game? Essentially, by buying if by buying um, supply uh, by buying supply drops and buying cod points, can you now pay to get an advantage above other players? And my answer, and I know a lot of people agree with me, is no. It is. I will explain to you right now exactly why this is the case. So the the one gun that is new to the game is the Mosh 16. The Marsh 16 is arguably a bit OP at close range since it is a shotgun and it's most likely one shot kill. But what you have to think about is this. It can kill one person in one shot. But after it, you have to reload, which takes about a second. And that time, anybody will kill you. If you put a Kimbo's on it, or do a wield, you have two shots. But the, the hip fire spread is larger, so that means not always one shot kills a person. So essentially, you might kill two people. But then you have to reload 1.5 seconds until, until you can get a new clip and kill somebody again. So the gun might be arguably a bit OP in close range, but it is not a, a, a game-breaking gun. 
Yeah. We have a great gameplay from Leon. Big shout out to you, Mufasa. Um, you're a great guy, and uh, and I have to say, you really do some nice montages with these new guns. So, big shout out to you. Um, essentially, essentially, the second gun I came in is the MX Garand. The MX Garand is a two-shot kill, it's similar to the Shiva. It's a bit quicker than the Shiva. It's also a one-shot kill using high caliber in the if you give a headshot. Which is good, but the gun has eight bullets, and you cannot reload until all bullets are out of your clip, out of your magazine. Therefore, the gun is, is a good gun. You can kill two people with two shots, but after killing two or three shot people, you're gonna have to reload, or you're gonna have to forcefully reload by shooting the rest of your bullets, and then you can only reload. By that time, you get killed. The reload is not that good, so you can get killed. Also, you can say you can melt people with one shot in the face, in the head. And yeah, it's, it's good, you can actually kill 8 people with it, but are you actually going to do that? No. The fire rate is still quite slow, so you can't actually spray people down. And in close range, the gun is pretty much useless. Like the sheep. But when it comes to long range, medium range, yeah, of course, you're going gonna to destroy, destroy people. So, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a gun that you can argue again, it's got OP traits, overpowered traits, but it really isn't overpowered, because the gun does not overperform the Shiva, for example. Or at least not much. Therefore, you cannot say that this gun is a, is destroying the balance of the game. You really can't say that. The third gun is the crossbow. This stupid ass. I don't even know what you call it. X X X N whatever it's called. It's uh, it is uh, it is it is again arguably OP since it's a one shot kill. And if you if you hit the perfectly, yeah, you kill a lot of people with it. But aiming down with it is difficult because you have to calculate the fall of the. Of the uh, of the arrow, the fall, the fall rate, the bow, like the like the uh, curve, the falling curve of the bow, of the arrow. So essentially, yeah, that's that's gonna be it's gonna be hard to use. But I've seen a lot of people use it, and I've been killed five six times by it. But I cannot say that in a one v one I could still kill him because people people think you can use the uh, the, the akimbos and it's it's useful that way. But actually, you'll make it even harder to aim down at people. So yeah, you can argue the gun is, a, is a, it can be OP, it can destroy people, but it's seriously not a gun breaking, it's not a game breaking gun because if therefore it, it should be, it has to be at close, medium, long, it has to be a worldie, it has to it has to be legendary and it has to destroy people no matter what gun you're using. But actually no, if you got perfect aim with a gun, yeah yeah you can argue you know it's it's, it's gonna kill people quickly, but I don't feel that you can get a lot of double kills with it. I don't think you can actually get yourself out of a lot of situation with this gun. I don't think so. You can get one, two kills, which I, yeah, always, you know what I mean? But no, it's not gonna destroy the game. But I think that implementing these guns has given a new angle to the game. Of course, they want to earn a lot of money, Black Ops or Treyarch or whatever, you know what I mean? That makes sense. But, it is not, it is not a pay-to-win game. They might. It, uh, it, this might change though. You never know what they do. They want to earn money. They might implement some new guns that destroy the game. But, right now, the I would not say that's gonna happen. I don't. I don't feel like it's a. It's a. It's a danger that this is gonna happen. But you never know. Um, essentially, I like that new guns coming. I like the Fury song as well. It's a. It makes a nice slashing sound when you when you sword somebody. It's a quite something that reminds me of Deadpool movie. If you've seen it, it's quite quite similar to that. So I think it's quite fun that it brought it in. Um, the gameplay is coming to an end now. I hope you enjoyed that. I got like a few wraps and destroyed people on combine. Um, try out the Weasel. Trust me, it's the best gun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope you can leave a like and subscribe and see you guys later. Peace out, your foreign dog.